going on guys, Grumpy Mechanic here. Today we're going to be taking a look at what's inside my SGS 36 inch roll cabinet. So let's get straight into it. On the top here, on show, we've got half inch deep impact sockets, 3 inch deep impact sockets, 3 inch shallow impact sockets, 3 inch drive 12 point universal sockets, 4 piece set of spark plug sockets from Sealy. Then we've got a 3 inch extension, a 1 inch extension, two 10 millimeter sockets, a 7 millimeter medium length Allen key and a 7 millimeter long Allen key for brake caliper bolts, half inch to three quarters adapter and a half inch adapter to make your socket swivel. Now getting into the first drawer, every mechanic has one of these in the box and they're here topping in it, but you've got to have it, haven't you? So at the back over there, we've got a tray full of razor blades and a scraper. Then we've got feeler gauges, tie valve tool, an expert digital tire pressure gauge and tire depth gauge. We've got some Christmas tree drill bits, a US Pro mirror and magnetic pickup tool, a bottle opener two clamps for when I'm doing timing belts so I can clamp the belt in place so it don't keep falling off two rolls of electrical tape some Dremel cut-off wheels a lighter a hockey puck for when you have to jack up a car on these sills so the sill sits in there and then that protects the sill you shouldn't have to jack up on the sill but when you do that helps protect it so some earbuds a PCL tyre pressure gauge and tyre depth gauge all in specifications for MOTs so that's nice to have then you've got a set of Sealy Torx uh, keys I have got the Allen key set then in my car a pouch full of radio removal keys for different vehicles again always nice to have I've then got a spark plug gap tool and a hole size measure for bolts so you can see what size bolt it is a micrometer and a digital vernier caliper a little notepad to jot stuff down on with a pen snap on uv light that i picked up for 10 pound and a grip mat a mat uh, the smaller version i have got the larger version and i'll show that in a bit but yeah that's the overview of the top drawer. Every mechanic has one, never wants to admit it. We're going to skip the next drawer for now. Move on to the third drawer down. So the third drawer down is, I've got a set of double box end, flex head, ratcheting spanners from US Pro. They're not that good, but at the same time, they do the job. So in the meantime, they're going to do. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a set of Mac spanners. In that pouch at the back there, I've got some long Sealy aviation spanners. So they're basically like these, but they don't flex and they haven't got the ratchet inversion. I then got some offset spanners, some super thin spanners, uh, brake line spanners, and stubby spanners all in the pouches. No need to like lay them out on display. So when I need to grab one, I can just grab the full pouch. Instead of coming back and forth. And then I've got just some US Pro regular ratcheting spanners here. And some adapters that you can put in to the end of the spanners. And make them into low profile ratchets. The next draw down is service and brakes. So I've got drain uh, plug keys. I've got a little quarter inch drive bit set for like under trays and air boxes. Some more sump plug keys, two oil filter claws, an oil filter um, wrench, this little tool here. You can put it on the sump plug when you broke it loose and you can undo it. It's got a very strong magnet. You can undo the sump plug and not get oil on your fingers. It's just nice to so when your car's still hot and oil's still hot, you don't burn your fingers. I've then got this little case here has got uh, auto sensor sockets for to remove them. I've then got a little uh, tool here for exhaust rubber hangers 
thought this were a gimmicky tool, used it first time, <laughs> literally my face hit the floor, I uh, I was shocked how well that works, no more wrestling with rubber exhaust hangers, uh, alloy wheel socket, so they've got the protector around them, so you don't scratch anybody's alloy wheels, you know, then I've got my snap-on gloves for when I'm having to hold break uh, disc and hitting other side with an hammer. I've got a little scraper, some wire brushes, a Sealy impact screwdriver for them stupid bolts that hold the brake disc on that sometimes get seized in. A single file to file down the um, calipers, uh, the slides when they get built up with junk. I've then got some caliper hangers, so you don't just hang caliper by brake hose because that damages it, so you can hang them up somewhere. A little tool to clean battery terminals. A, another brake tool to wind back the front brake calipers. And then them two tools there are for rear drum brakes, for the springs and the uh, shoe clips to hold the, that holds the shoe in place. A little pen to test your brake fluid. And a brake pad fitness measure tool. Oh, sorry about that guys. Moving on to the fifth drawer. So the fifth drawer in my tool cart has got my Mac screwdrivers and my free H drive wobble and straight extension bars. I ain't got nowhere to put them yet so they've just got in this drawer. And then I've just got my homemade play rack with all my different type of players. There's Mac, there's Blue Point, there's Bergen, just basically random stuff, Sealy, my electrical uh, players. So not much to show in that drawer. Next drawer down. This has got me 36 piece punch and chisel set. All my Mac anti vibe bombers from 48 ounce all the way down to 8 ounce. My Mac 123 piece ratcheting screwdriver set. This Mac uh, promotional uh, double jointed bit driver. These are perfect for getting them awkward places where under trays are. So that one nice to get. And then I've got a three piece set of Mac um, scrapers. They have got the striking cap on end, but I don't know where you'd want to use striking cap on a probably somewhere where you're scraping gasket off. You don't want to hit it with an hammer. So it's a nice feature to have, but I don't think I'd use it. And just for the old Mac picks. The bottom drawer here is literally just full of everything else. So I've got spare elect electrical tape. I've got some copper grease for brakes, regular grease, wheel chocks. Uh, my five um, axle nut sockets. The little black case there is the caliper rewind tool for rear calipers and stuff. That's the Draper flexible funnel, which I'm going to do another review on soon. We've got a service going up and that's going to come in handy. I've got a can of brake cleaner, which I love to have a spare one on hand. And then I've got my Snap-on Coast pen light. At the back here, I've got big uh, 18 inch water pump players. Now, obviously, if you do brakes, you know what they're for. <laughs> I've got a Pitman arm puller, the Death Springs. Basically, you don't want to use them unless you're in a pinch because your head might just get to clean off. I've got my Gen 3 Milwaukee fuel drill and impact driver. In these cases, starting from back, I've got a Blue Point, C, uh, Blue Point Seal and Bearing Driver. I've then got diesel injector sockets, glow plug sockets, uh, locking wheel nut uh, sockets to remove them when you've lost it, a damaged nut extractor sockets, a long uh, bit set, so to put in your quarter inch gun, uh, but obviously longer than your short ones. Pouch full of circlip pliers, a little kit here that's for VW Scordia and Alder. Just got a few random little sockets in it. In fact, I'll open this for you. Just got them sockets in there. It would have, I thought it were a nice little kit, so I'd pick it up. They're only £10. And then this little box in here, this has got a puller for uh, battery terminals and wiper arm motors. So that is just the last drawer. 
on the side here this is where I keep my big grip mat that grip here it just literally stays on the side so I got the large one and the small one and like I said it's that grip here it just once you put it on the side it stays there obviously I've got to, you've just got to put a bit of pressure on it and eventually it'll just stay still so now going back to the drawer I skipped which is this one this is the drawer that I spent more, the most time organising, sorting out and seeing where I wanted things so we'll start from right to left why not so on my sockets I've got half inch shallow sockets I've then got quarter inch drive and three inch drive stubby hex and torx and that's the half inch version of them so large sizes I've then got impact e torque sockets 3 h drive laser stubby 3 h sockets and some impact adapters here I've got some chrome adapters and 7 to 19 millimeter gear wrench semi deep sockets so when a short socket is too short and a long socket is too deep you've got that one which is the perfect size then here I've got half inch chrome hex sockets and 3H drive chrome hex sockets some bigger chrome adapters and some half inch torque sockets and then some 3H drive tamper proof torque sockets and we've got 3H drive 6 point sockets and 3H drive 12 point sockets these sockets here is a quarter inch drive and then 3H drive these are supposed to bite onto rounded nut sockets or at least try to I haven't really had a chance to use these so I can't tell you if they're good or not and this row is just for random sockets so I've got a 32mm shallow um, socket for oil filter housings I've got a half inch, 10 millimeter, half inch drive 10mm socket two astro sockets for spreading struts apart a t50 a 10 millimeter 12 point socket and a t40 socket and these five sockets here are 10 millimeters quarter inch deep and frapes and quarter inch shallow then i've got a clark hd a half inch drive flexor ratchet half inch drive impact extensions quarter inch drive extensions quarter inch drive wobble extensions and then i've got quarter inch drive and freight drive long flex head 84 2 ratchets and at the back there i've got quarter inch deep impact sockets and quarter inch shallow chrome sockets so that is what's in the tool cart i have got this little uh hang on storage outside that's just got all my pry bars in and my ladies feet in and my breaker bar and like i said i have got more tools than this this isn't, isn't everything but this is just what i need on a daily basis when i'm working on a car any of my other specialist tools i can just come in house grab them and put them back away when i need them so yeah i hope you like this video it's not too long i have tried my best i'm not the best at doing these videos but Thank you for watching, hope you enjoy it, please give it a like and follow me on my Instagram, my Instagram is right there, anyway that's it guys, a uh, massive thank you to SGS for making an awesome product, um, see you guys soon, ta -ra.